Hello and welcome to Forest Spirit. I am Crimson Clover and today I'm taking a look at this um, new farming life sim game that was recently released in Early Access. I've played a little bit just to see what some things are. Are you sure you want a new game? All of your progress will be deleted and you will not be able to store it. And that is alright. Um, the, the music at the start of the game is nice. Um, why am I so tired? 5 a.m. Hey. So, like, um, like Stardew Valley and other such games, we are going to be a tired city person who wants to move out to a nice, quiet place. And, is it morning again? I shouldn't have started watching that series. It's still dark, but it's time to get up. Now I need to hold out until the evening and stay awake at work. First, I need to get dressed. So, like this, it seems as though we're a poor, unfortunate person who works at some place like Georgia Core. Um, left click to use an item, right click to interact with things, I for inventory. Inventory brings up your backpack, your character menu. Um, you have your fishing, combat, mining, logging. Animal welfare stuff, bartering, actual farming, cooking, and energy reserve. Um, the maximum amount of energy. So every point of energy you use will go into your energy reserve, and then you will be able to level up. So it's a little odd, and you will lose your energy very quickly at first. And we choose what our character looks like. Um, I'm going to play pretty standard character. Blue eyes because there are no purple eyes. And then take gray shirt, purple skirt. Now, dark blue. Okay, this is where I would spend way too much time just trying to decide what my shoes and stuff should look like. Purple. And we will be clever. Gotta get to work, I'm already late. Now, Sunhaven uh, started you off in a different character's location, but this one starts you off in your little apartment. Um, although hopefully this isn't actually our apartment, because you'll, you'll see why in a minute. Um, but the character sprite looks a lot like the um, Super Nintendo era game. And I like it, and I like the way the hair bounces behind me as I run. Although it feels, the controls feel a little floaty a bit. I don't know how it jumped to, to 8 or 5 a.m. I need to hurry to my workplace before the boss notices I'm gone. So, our poor unfortunate souls, we are living in the same building where we're working. I'm gonna plop our sit down. Tippy, tippy, tippy. At this point, there is no music. And my headache starts again. Need to make it to the end of the day. Go sit back down. There is bird. He's a magical bird. What a big bird. Looks like you're in trouble, human. What? You can speak? I'm an experienced and respected person. I can deal with problems. Aha! Are you messing around again? Go to my office and make it snappy. We can deal with problems except when the boss is angry at us. It doesn't really need the slow pan up to him. Um, the bird won't talk again. None of these people really want to talk to us. Oh, I got stuck a little bit. I got the weirdo from the next apartment. Have you heard? The boss called him to his office. I'm assuming this is something they will change since they actually let you choose your... Um, your body? Get away from me. I don't want people to think that we're friends. I made a 
weekly profit in half a day. You should learn efficiency from me. The boss is waiting for you in your office. And the red door of doom. So I don't know where that red light is coming from. Because, you know, the wallpaper is a little red there, but it's like stained glass window kind of red. Well, you're finally here. I want to remind you of something. The company I built is the main supplier of resources to the world markets. My company has been stable for 27 years. Now, let's talk about you. I carefully monitor every employee, including you. I analyze data from about your activity in the workplace. You seem to be walking away from your workplace too often. I'm not surprised that your efficiency is 17% lower than other employees. 17%? How can that be calculated? It's not your concern. If I said it's true, then you need to accept it. I don't understand how you can be so irresponsible. And at 6 p.m. you're already leaving. Looks like you have to work extra this weekend. Please don't do this to me. I have my own weekend plans. I haven't had a day off in half a year now. Oh? That's how you feel about the business? Then I think you don't belong at my firm. You're fired! You've completed the workday. I don't regret being fired. I have long wanted to leave myself. My job was meaningless. I would like to be able to click through the dialogue here, but you can't. And it gave us the music back, but there are quite a few places where the music just drops and you're left with the ambient um, environmental noises. I have long wanted to live in nature, away from the noise of the city. Like that, the music just cut out immediately almost. And I can hear birds chirping in the background, but I'm not sure the recording will pick it up. Now this glade is my home, but if I want to live here, I have to take care of where I live. First I need to put up a tent, put down a sleeping bag, and make a fire. It's good that I took all of this with me. Fire, tent, sleeping bag can be placed in a place where grass and trees do not grow. You can just climb into the sleeping bag. And... Ta-da! Fire! Yeah. Hello! I am the mayor of this wonderful place. We always welcome guests. Do you like it here? I don't know yet. I've just arrived. Mayor, I thought nobody lived here. I'm sure that you will soon get your bearings and get to know the locals. Be sure to meet Bulat, Oya, Maya, Lada, Dasovic, Vlad, and Brozovic. Please correct my pronunciation in the comments if you know how to pronounce it properly. But if you see here a vile bird with a big beak, then you'd better not approach it. It always talks all sorts of nonsense. I can decide for myself who to approach and who not to. Now... Because we weren't expecting to uh, meet any real people, we did not take tools with us for some reason. You get the tools from all the various people that we meet. If I can find them. Let me in. Hello, Amalia. I've been living here in the village for a long time. We have a wonderful place in here. There are lots of beautiful animals and plants. Plants are my real love in life. Now, Oya will give you the hoe and some seeds. It only seems that plants do not understand and do not feel anything. In fact, each plant has its own character and soul. I'll show you the entire beauty of gardening if you want. I really want. To plant something, you first need to clean the grass from the field and open the grass ground using the hoe. This is mine. You can keep it. We also need seeds. Plant them in the dug up soil. Here are 10 carrot seeds for you. When you plant all 10 carrot seeds, come back and I'll tell you what to do next. She means that literally. Um, you got to go plant the carrot seeds. And then you go talk to her and then she will give you a space bar to do the dash there. After you put down the seeds, she will uh, give you the watering can to water those seeds. Um, the energy feels like it needs a little bit of balancing. Yeah. 
Now, it shows you the green square where you can plant a seed, and I would rather like it if it didn't take away the mouse button when it did this. Because I feel like I'm going to be misclicking there a lot. See? You put the seeds, your mouse comes back. Um, you need to talk to someone to get an axe, uh, another person to to get the scythe, and then mining equipment. You've done a great job with planting. You're definitely talented. Here's the watering can. Don't forget to water your plants. Now plant some nice cucumbers. Here are 10 cucumber seeds. You need to plant them in the ground as soon as possible. This time I'm waiting for your first harvest. Bring me five carrots and five cucumbers from your garden. Now, let's see. We go up. And, uh, a jump in the water noise. Okay. Here's the sort of groundskeeper. I salute you, a traveler. Why are you in such a hurry? Stop for a short while, enjoy the moment. When I was younger, I was always in a hurry. Now I understand that there is no rush. All the answers have always been in my soul. I maybe we'll do something interesting instead of simply talking. If you're itching to be useful, I have a lot of interesting things for you to do. I can also attend to the environment. Do you need help? Of course, I have have I just have a task guide, for which I am too old. We need to reduce the Giant wasp population? I do not like giant wasps. These wasps live in the cave near your campsite. Bring me 25 wasp dingers as evidence of work done. Okay. And, um, they have a quest list. Oh, finished. Nice. It, the, it looks like the mouse gets hit a little bit by the by that. And then here are all of the NPCs. And this is the girl from which we get the axe. Hello, I'm Maya, the local witch. You can find a potion and cure for any spleen in my hut. It doesn't matter whether you suffer from mental or physical pain. I'll make a potion to meet any emergency. And who are you? Hello, I'm me here. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. We will help you with your potions. Gather wood. Oh, the water's kind of loud to me. And yet, once you get away from the water, everything seems overly quiet. The Sound balancing definitely needs some work. The blacksmith has an anvil. I think I can try to make something in it. Now, it freezes your character for like a second. Hello, I'm City Dweller. I used to be an office worker. Trying new things is good. Become a better blacksmith. <laughs> I want to learn blacksmithing. He is a, a very prideful person. But you do his quest, you get the pickaxe. Let's see. Next person. Um, this is someone else who wants us to go fight monsters. Hello, I'm Sophia, and I would like to explore the world around us and eat delicious food. I like delicious food, but not the work. Work will come in time. You've told me you love to eat. This is true, but I don't have any food at home. You want me to help with cooking lunch? I wouldn't mind eating fish. Bring me a fish. Okay. What are you researching? What weird is going on here? For example, weird monsters. Now, I didn't know the first time that you could get more than one quest from her at a time. Will it let me... Okay, I was gonna see if it would let me ask something else about her research. I keep getting a little bit stuck. <laughs> What's the glittering in the pile of rubbish? They give you a free sword. Hmm. 
which is nice. Um, if you walk through the grass, it will slow you down. There's the talking bird. Good afternoon. I am the main environmental protection advocate in this village. Didn't have time, but I would like to. How did this happen? Don't have a fishing rod? Go visit the fisherman, of course. Now, sort of skipping the dialogue since I already did it. And, but since you can't skip it entirely, you can always slow it down a little bit. Hello, my name is Lada, and I have my own farm. I have a cow and chicken that can always provide me with fresh organic milk and eggs. <laughs> uh, Lada is uh, kind of mean initially. Why don't you live there? Maybe the city was finally flooded with garbage and you came to cover our place with litter too. I know you, city people. You strive to throw your weight about in every place you come to. I don't want to throw my weight around here. I'm just walking around. Oh. Okay. You needed help on the farm? Will you handle it? You're a townie. Probably sat in the office, pushed paper, and drank tea. Well, we sat in an office. I don't think we pushed paper because we have computers. And I don't think our boss let us have time for drinking tea. But she gives us the scythe. And we can cut down the grass. All of the grass. Any of it can drop hay. It's a little slow. And if you focus on it, you will lose your energy pretty quickly. Fisher boy, come back. And this is... Ryozovic, who gives you the fishing pole. And a quest to catch five fish. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure how to catch the fish's attention. But once you hook the fish, um, it's not too hard to catch it. Just keep it in the green. Pacific Cod. I think the best thing to do is to be go up above where the fish is supposed to be. But you might be waiting a while. Okay, apparently not too long. Um, a Xander. Is that a real fish? Freshwater predatory fish. High in protein and low in fat. Try to fry it. Nice. That will be trash. I want to focus on fish. Yeah, because you can cook the fish. I mean, you can eat the fish as is to increase your energy a little bit. But you'll get more back if you cook it. Just like most... Uh, just like most farming games. Cut eight. A roach. Freshwater fish, it shows high activity throughout the year. Roach meat is distinguished by its delicate texture and it's excellent for roasting over fire. I don't know if this is supposed to be mud or um, low level, but I'm thinking it's probably sludge. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy. The fish is turning toward me. Hey, got it. I think uh, fishing in this game requires a little more patience than I'm used to. Plus six experience. Not bad. Let's go catch up. Now, if you catch um, trash and you check your quest journal, it will count. But I don't know if he will actually accept trash as your quest. Here, fishy, fishy. Okay. I think it's turning toward me. Uh, I can't tell if it's just turning around, though. Okay, he was just turning around. That's unfortunate. And, of course, I hate when fish do this. 
I am terrible at aiming in any fishing game, let alone this one. And he pushed me out of the way. Okay, I haven't seen that happen before, so I didn't know they could. Civil fishing rod at blueprint. Hey, sister. Um, probably know the delicious fish dishes. Catch five fish, and I will give you the recipe. Five tuna. And he has never heard of sushi. Let's see. You consume the recipe outside of the inventory menu. My name is Vlad. A society where people help each other and work together, and the retired persons like me have a decent pension benefits. Are you ready to work hard and help your senior? I'm ready. How can this be cured? Take a bottle of the medicinal potion. Uh, consume the recipe. So I think that is all of the tools I can currently get. I'm gonna put it on the hoe and just leave it there. So I like all the little... I'm going to take down the grass. Now we'll plant. Although this time, I, I kind of wish it was, um, can I till it back up? I should have just done a 5x5. Five five. I was thinking I would have liked it if it was just 9 seeds, so it'd be a nice thing. And then I realized, oh, I didn't have to make it <laughs> in the, uh, Stardew Valley sprinkler pattern. I could have just done five, uh, five by two. And to make sure I have enough energy for both, I'm going to water five before I go watering the rest. Although you will see in a bit when I run out of energy, something that is uh, a little useful for an early access. Uh, you know, playing the first day or two of the game until you get used to playing it. Oh, uh, and the fire went out. Didn't notice that. I'm sorry, fire. Caught on it. To the axe. Well, trees will drop the wood and they can also drop seeds. So you get to um, replant your seeds. We've fainted from exhaustion and this is fine. We have no money to lose. <laughs> so don't worry about it. But you saw where we got. Um, see. Where's our character traits? Okay, there we go. 115 energy, and we have 19. So we used up 100 energy, and we passed out. Just fine. It leveled up our energy. Now using 300 more energy, we'll level us up again. But it's still Monday, day one. We lost a little bit of time, but that was all that we lost. This is something they will probably change um, later on once they've balanced the energy out a bit more. And if you if you don't want to continuously just pass out to get a little bit of energy, you can just walk into your sleeping tent, go to bed. And we've recovered some energy. Now, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate yet that put down put down the fire. 
Which of you is worth more? Cook the fish. Right click over the fire while you're holding the fish. If you left click the fish, you will eat it. So be sure to right click it. Okay, leave it on inventory there. Xander, cod. I suppose you could make multiple cooking fires if you wanted. Um, but I don't know if there's a way of reclaiming materials once you put it down. And now the cooked fish is worth 10 energy rather than, was it five? Now we have three fried fish. Um, this is probably going to go ahead and be worth cooking. I mean, since it's not tuna, does that take energy though? Character, 53. I didn't test this before to see whether or not cooking took energy. Uh, apparently not. Excellent. Well, while that's cooking, I'll break some rocks. Because the rocks are in your way to get into the mines. Equip our sword and go in. I like that it gives you a mini map. Uh, not all games do. I think these big stocks have a higher chance of giving hay, but I'm not sure. Very cute little slime. We lost a little bit of hit point, but that's fine. The slimes are easy to fight them. The bees are a little harder. Not terribly hard, right? Well, sleeping didn't fully recover our hit points. I don't know if it will... I meant it didn't fully recover our energy. I don't know if it'll fully recover our hit points. I guess we'll see. Or we could just pass out. Let me through. The in in the minimap you can see the level down to the next level is green. Ah. And that's You know what? I probably should have watered my plants. And I have no idea why some of these have a trellis now and grew and why some of them didn't. Okay, because I watered all of them. I guess there's something to post on the community tab about. So the developer does um, pay attention to post on the, the Steam community page. I don't know if there's a Discord. I suppose that's something to look into. Um, if there is, I will try to find a link and post it in the comments. Pin it if I find it. Take my fishies. Okay, so I've watered everything. The first time I entered the mines, I uh, got surprised by the scene transition for some reason, and I, instead of holding still and waiting for it to load, I just walked backwards into the light. And I was like, oh no, what happened? Ugh, like that. It just stutters a little bit when you transition. No, 
I do, I do like that you can see on the map where the resources are. At least for stone. Um, it doesn't look as though plants show up on the map. That's fine. Lost so many. Nobody cares. All right. Well, so far, this is the basics of Force Spirit. Um, I think the game has a lot of potential. I like the art style. I like the color palette. The sound balancing needs some work because right now I can hear the birds. Um, but I don't think the recording is picking up any of the birds. Despite, um, okay, let's raise it up on OBS. Like, I have to max the sound on OBS to... And even with the birds go quiet, nothing. Oh, and the music finally kicked back in. It feels like that's been an age. Um, but sound needs some balancing, the energy needs a little balancing. Combat was fine, fishing was pretty easy. Um, I would like uh, a hitbox to show me where I'm aiming my tools at. It feels a little... a little random. Oh, and you can't scythe more than one thing at a time. It's just not easy for me to aim it. And as long as you don't mind the red screen of exhaustion, you can just faint. And wait a few seconds, recover a little bit of energy. Now when that happens, I should have left it on the skill page, you're still increasing your energy reserves. So take advantage of it where you can, I guess. I think this is where I call things. Um, let me know what you thought of the game. Is this one you'll be playing? I, I will be keeping an eye on it because I think it has a great deal of potential and I just will really like farm swimming games. Well, Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye!